Hello guys! Now, ladies and gentlemen, as it goes for today's video, we are extremely early for the championship stage pickums for the Rio Major in 2022. Now, the past couple of videos I've done for pickums, we've been really pushing the time limit going towards the six hour mark right before the matches start. This time around, we're a whole days early and probably within the first couple of hundred people on YouTube uploading videos, maybe within the first 50 possibly. Now, as it goes for today, being the 8th of November, the legend stage part of the pickums just completed. That means we're going to the championship stage very, very soon. Now, I myself, just probably like millions of other people, ended up getting that silver coin, which really, really sucks. And recently I made a video covering why that happened. Essentially, teams were getting upsetted. There is underdogs just exploding out of nowhere, essentially pulling strats out of their bottom that really no one expected. And I think the same thing is going to happen towards the championship stage pickums. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe. And here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Now, today's video sponsor is of course Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is currently the easiest and also fastest way you can buy, but most importantly, trade your CSGO skins. All you have to do is make sure you have your trade link, and on your first trade, if you have a leftover balance, it goes towards your current balance that can be used the next time you end up trading skins. It has three ways you can inspect, but most importantly, has a very in-depth inspect feature that you can see corners on a Karamit, for an example, that you can't really see otherwise unless you have the item in-game. If you end up topping up your balance, make sure to use promo code MANDO to get up to a 35% deposit bonus and a free $5 on the first trade. This is a very sad sight to see honestly if i could delete this somehow in my inventory going to newest where we see here if i could delete it i would i don't want to see this anymore it it is going to haunt me forever especially even if we get gold it's it's insanely sad but starting off with the very beginning of the major just a week ago as you can see this is my challenger stage pickums for the major they were actually pretty good a lot better than i thought they were going to be teams that i didn't think were going to go through ended up going through fanatic most people did not pick them because they were a pretty lower tier team but in the rmrs they did extremely well and that's actually what i based my pickums off of and this is what i'm going to base them off of most likely in the championship stage and of course the final as well og did pretty well before this as well that's why i put them in here they didn't end up going like that greyhound they weren't statistically proven to be a really good team that's why i put them on three just like hundreds of thousands of other people did but they didn't end up going on three and this is what we're talking about here with upsets as it goes on to the legend stage, most people thought NIP were probably going to make it through. I didn't really think so. That's why I kind of use this 3-0 slot just kind of as a FU type of thing. Same with the 0-3. I don't really ever pay too much attention to these because these two slots really don't matter and you don't want to ever use a team you know is going to make it through in one of them. But FaZe Clan obviously did not make it through. Being the number one team in the world did not succeed to make it to the actual real part of the major, being the championship stage, the big arena. Now, I think personally there was probably some team problems but I saw this going on and going back all the way to the RMR qualifiers, where they had a problem qualifying against Gamer Legion, which was, in my opinion, very sad. So I think some team changes are most likely going to happen going into the next one. Cloud9 was also very shaky before the Legend stage. Challenger stage, I'm very surprised they even made it through. And as it goes for teams like Navi, they weren't really having a starstruck performance like they normally do. Sure, they were good, but Simple you know, and Electronic weren't doing crazy numbers. They weren't absolutely going all over people. It was kind of just them slowly winning. They almost choked a game, actually, which was very surprising. That would have eliminated them from the tournament. And where I fell short, essentially, was my Liquid match. Vitality, sure, they could have made it through, and same with FaZe, but after FaZe playing the first couple of matches, I kind of knew it was game over. Liquid ended up choking, got way too cocky, and were way too sloppy against Team Spirit. I didn't really want to put Team Spirit or any other teams. I didn't really think they were going to make it through. Now we're on to the championship stage of the major as it goes for fanatic versus outsiders i think this one is going to be extremely difficult to predict because both teams have had some extremely insane upsets i think what this is going to come down to is just one of the two teams really outperforming one another the current day with them playing each other in the past i'm sure they've learned from their mistakes even outsiders from winning but for me since i'm already gambling kind of trying to get the gold coin not really going for the diamond i'm going to choose fanatic because i feel ballsy for most people i would go outsiders because i feel like that's the proper way to do things but with this major it's just been so difficult to predict what's actually going to happen one thing we can take away and learn from this entire thing is whatever you think is going to happen is not going to happen now mouse versus cloud nine if cloud nine performs the way they did in the legend stage i think they're gonna have no problem crushing mouse whatsoever 
they did extremely well they really impressed me and that's why i'm going to put them in there as it goes for team spirit and a heroic it's also kind of a difficult one and team spirit i feel like i want to put them but heroic at the same time i feel like are a little more professional in a few ways team spirit versus liquid the final match of the legend stage both teams were extremely sloppy i'm not sure why they just lost a lot of rounds they shouldn't have but they had some superstar players in their team that i think will help them possibly go on to the grand final of the major but with heroic being a more experienced team and being in here longer especially on a stage like this I think they're just going to perform better just simply because they're not going to have stage fright in a sense where some of these players have never played on a stage like this haven't had experience in an event like this where teams let's just say like navi if they play them in the grand final are going to pull out brand new things they haven't seen before Furia versus navi i'm easily just going to go navi theory i think has a chance but navi i think is going to come out on top and versus heroic i think they're going to beat them fanatic versus cloud nine for me personally i'm going to pick cloud nine this may surprise a lot of people but i see that actually happening as long as Cloud9 and their opera performs the way they have, I think they're not going to have a problem with it. And I think Navi, it has a very good chance of winning this major. As long as Simple doesn't perform like the way he did the first couple of games he played in the Legend State. They struggled with that, and I think if they start opening up, getting a little more comfortable, I think they'll be fine whatsoever. Now, I feel like this is just a complete baller pick right here. I wouldn't take this as serious if you were going for the Diamond Coin, let's just say. But for the people who are going for that gold coin and kind of just going for the lols, this is what I would do personally. Trying to have a little bit of fun, but also at the same time, I want to see some of the underdogs win some of these situations, and that's why I'm picking them. And there's some valid reasons behind it as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.